army of malevolent orcs. However, their chief was no simple orc, but some more powerful being. His attack has not been decisive. It seems that his aim was not to conquer the castle, but to find something hidden there. Lord Kerman, a man of great wisdom and a worthy knight, has been taken prisoner. Yeah, one new option to Ums of Ephira, so let's get to it. In Ephira, the mad King Azud ordered his dwarven artisans to build a temple guarding the tomb of his wife, the great queen Asha, and all her secrets. A few years later, when he died, he was buried in a chapel near the temple. After that, several kings of the Ishabad were buried there. The temple and the tombs were abandoned many years ago, and since then they have become famed as a place of peril. They say that many tomb robbers and other adventurers have disappeared there, giving it the reputation of an accursed spot. All the actions of the enemy seem to suggest a search for some particular object or information which they didn't find in Tel Halaf or Kelbegan. Their next target will probably be Ephira. Any of the archers are taken care of. Should be able to go down there in peace and the butt is dead. Axe spear, not the arm weapon. Definitely not. Don't have a sky already and I don't care for it. I I don't like the axes. Didn't I kill you already? Anyway, more goblins, gobblers. Happy life potion. It can be used to halt the effects of poison. In general, you can see all the general items are listed here, what they do. Pink potion, travel, rations, food, power potion, ghost, medallion, crown, bracelet, and different type of arrows. Badass. They have such a high rate of attack and they can do a, quite a lot of variety of attacks. Oh. 
Sometimes you can get rid of them without any trouble, and sometimes they cause you a lot of trouble. Fossil uh, Archer, I'll, I'll try to take him out. way to get rid of these holes at the moment. He's watching ass. Okay, level 8. Uh, Death Sword. Uh, it, it's no good. It, it's... The problem is the basic attack. We have to go through that every time we want to do it. So... Yeah, eh, it's crap. Do we get anything else? We have... ooh, we have the Thunder Sweep already. So that's what we did. That, that's, uh... That's a better version of basically the same sort of thing. I still don't like that. Okay. Two-handed sword and axes, sky mash. Not enough energy. Okay. A lot of these long-range attacks. Against an opponent like the orc, they're no good. The fighting style is not a good match for them. Two-handed swords, death dealer. And we're not gonna gain, gain anything new for some time. At least for two levels. So. We'll have to taste that. It should do quite a lot of damage, but... It's gonna be hard to deliver on target. It's not something we can rely on against most enemies. Not in situations like these, totally useless. So, there's definitely some strength in the Dwarven fighting style. It's quick and to the point. There's no extended animations or strike, at least for most part. There are some for the special weapons, but they're mostly trash. A lot of their special attacks are just a simple thrust forward or a simple slash. It's not bad, but timing. Timing is, needs to be perfect for it to be useful. Spear, expert. Dangerous attack, hard to use. Ooh, 
These guys just come right at you without any reservations. Way of Armina. Iron key, okay, there's some bugginess. This those should be sparkles. So this time it's the sparkles that fucked up. It's always some. I, I I don't recall things bugging out too much if you load a save game in a mission. For some reason if you go straight from the overland map and just start playing, it's always something. Not a huge deal, but wondering what's causing it. Need to explore the top floor. We need to find the next sword as soon as it's possible. Long sword is our it's our weapon. It's our weapon. Well, it might take a lot longer before we can get a new weapon. Oh yeah, looks nice. Very nice. Just making sure we can do some of our basic attack. Sky Smash. Don't think we can do that. And do Thunder Sweep. So it has, uh, seems to have a lot of reach. much what we have. We can't do the sky smash. Yeah, more energy needed. But it's another var vari variation of the spin attack and they're all, all of them are slow. They're very hard to effectively use in realistic combat, combat situations, at least against orcs or goblins because they're so aggressive in attacking. Maybe against some of the other opponents because they are more cautious. Like they have a self -pre preservation instinct. Also, undead is a potential target. They don't usually care too much about their own health, but their attacks are a lot are more mechanic instead of uh, aggressively pressing on. This might be a good attack. It seems like it's not easy to block and sort of aids the legs. Okay, 
watch away from that. You're the one who was taunting me, so don't complain about dying. I think there were a few weak healing up potions or some other type of thing that we could at least stop the bleeding. I mean, poisoning. Yeah. Mm -mm. There might have been another healing potion here. We drank that then. Or was it here? There it is. Okay, almost at full health. And we have access to the tomb area of this map. So all the goblins and orcs and more undead. The king alone holds the key that would lead to the heart of his beloved. Are you perchance the king, or are you merely a miserable thief skulking in the shadows? Petty's recess. I think the the voice here is intended to be mine. The king alone holds the key that would lead to the heart of his beloved. Are you perchance the king, or are you merely a miserable thief skulking in the shadows? Yes. Okay, at least I like my character's voice. Ah, scurries. Ah, oh, crap. So if you want to attack a shield wielder, your attack needs to come from the side. Frogan weapons, frogan armor. Close medallion. Resistance against poison and cures poison. Life 1000 and a venom hammer. Plus a dwarven artifact. I'm sort of somewhat interested in picking it up. Uh, I, I want to see if I get access to my own special weapons that way. Yeah. Uh, for a dwarf, its requirements are fairly high level to be useful, and the dwarf doesn't get here any sooner, so. You would have to carry it around for something like eight levels, maybe, and and there's no guarantee that the best special ability is of any use. So, crap weapon. There's a lot of weapons like that here. I mean, weapons where 
There's no guaranteed usefulness. Quite the opposite, you can be pretty sure that it's not useful. You can usually see it by just looking at the, how the special move is supposed to be made. If it's usually complicated, you can pretty much throw it away and try to get in there. My personal favor is anything that requires you to place forward and downwards, or forward and backwards buttons at the same time. Because it usually means that you have to change your WASD finger positioning to something else just to perform that one move. So it, it can it's very easily leads to you being messing things up during any kind of tough fight that requires constant maneuvering or immediate maneuvering after the special move. So at least that for me is a warning sign. Here we would have... We don't really have anything like that. Uh, the Shredder seems like a bad one, or a difficult one, but it's just for two-handed axes, so we can ignore that. Potentially problematic would be the, the Slaying Sword, because it has three parts instead of two, like all the, everyone else. So, it's probably something where you can mess up the timing pretty easily. So if it's an ability you can't reliably execute, it quite quickly translates to a fairly useless ability in the first place. And we have to go there. It's needed to progress, so it's a must. Also, you can't walk the ledges there. Uh, if you do, you'll just drop down. I don't think it's totally impossible to walk there, but uh, you can walk past there, then go there, trying to... Clearly there's a ledge, but it's not enough of a ledge for you to walk on. Although it clearly is, so just jump. So much safer. <laughs> Yeah, sparkling effects. Hey, we are. Full life. Uh, I'm not gonna come here again, so we'll use our existing full life potion. Um, so that reminds me, there is a limit. What? I ex accidentally used the ghost medallion. That doesn't matter, it's a. Uh, what did I use? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But there's a limit to how much certain items you can carry. There's, I think, one last related item at a time. Four or five hundred healing potions. Uh, two, one thousand, one full life, one power potion. So. All kinds of limitations. So it in it's a balancing factor, and it also encourages you to use them when you're when you are wounded instead of hoarding them. Because there's there's only a, you can only do that to a very limited extent. I say hoard the full life. You're gonna hoard something and try to make it with the others. I usually play in a way that I use them as the... If I don't have any more room to pick them up, then I'll use them. It's, it's not a great way to use them though. Because it leads you to dying more than more often than you should. 
power potions can only have one. So I might as well use now since there's a new one. Power potion doesn't just increase defense and attack, it also removes stamina entirely. So if you can perform an attack, you can perform it as many times as you can. So it's a very powerful ability. Level 9. Sky. So, nothing new for us. Death Dealer. Oh, that's actually quite bad. The, the ability itself is not terrible, but it's. The problem is that it's fairly simple to execute, so attack button plus forward. This is attack and forward at the same time, so... So if there's a little bit of insecurity or rushing or panicking in your combat, you can easily make attacks you don't really want to make. Yes, trash like this is fairly useful. Big slicing moves. Against orcs and goblins, you don't want to use that. Against here, when you can clearly, easily produce those attacks, very, very useful. Should work fairly well against skeletons too. Can't be sure though. It's a good place to test the theory out. Leaves you quite vulnerable, so uh, I don't recommend it. Against a single opponent, it's probably okay. It's terrible. Oh, the reason I'm wounded here so heavily is basically because I, I'm fudging up a very simple move constantly. That. Yeah. So, even though sometimes the game looks fairly easy, if you can't execute your movements when you want them to, it can be very difficult. That's why you uh, much. want to avoid certain weapon movements. If it's too complicated and you can't reliably do it, that's the end result. 
doesn't matter how powerful your ability is. Execution is everything. Theoretical damage output is that just that it's just theoretical. Every weapon probably does good enough damage to be useful. Well, almost everyone, maybe not the early weapons, but it's not important enough that you have to use the top of the line weapon, or otherwise, you're totally ineffectual. It would be great if you could, but again, not that big of a deal. Holy crap, we haven't saved for a while. I do appreciate the more complex special character-based special moves though, because they're sort of a cheap weapon-specific move, uh, as far as effectiveness is concerned. If you don't really have a smooth special move on your weapon, then you can still rely on fairly effective character specific mode. Zombies are pretty worthless. They're a bit tougher with blunt weapons because blunt we weapons don't cut off limbs or decapitate. So you have to beat the hit points to zero instead of relying on links falling up. It's also nearly not as, not as entertaining. Okay, I think I'd better save here. Once having to redo this is good enough. I think we're going to be relying on more traditional attacks this time. Yep. That's a good example of a total failure. Yeah, I'm failing it again now. Yeah, I'm drastically doing something wrong. I, I don't think I am though. Oh, crap. Yeah, thanks buddy. Thanks buddy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fudge, 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 fudge. I'm so near. Okay, now he won't be able to stop me. No more shield. Better eat some of these mushrooms to heal up. Graveyard mushrooms. Sure, nothing bad could happen. This is basically me being reluctant to use healing potions again for some reason. I don't know why. Because there's so much empty room. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's a rune up there. It's another rune location. Right at the top. Two thousand one hundred, so it has more life than we do. It has a special shield. Oh, fuck. Uh, I do need to heal up, otherwise I risk dying. Well, move you bitch! Ah. Quite sure what title attack would be good to hear. With it, or if it was fairly simple, always use your weapon special attacks because there's so much more damaging. Since that's not an option, I'd have to rely on more traditional combat skills, which is causing a lot of trouble because we don't have those. Can use the long sword special attack. Hail Okay, this looks like a good Easy to perform, fast to perform. Yeah, it's uh, quite wide. It doesn't really look like it'll hit all that well on the right side, but it looks like strong attack. King Shield. I conjure you, ancient serpent, by the judge of the living and the dead, by that which has the power to send you to the icy hell of Valaskayav. British. And this is be why bow and arrow is mandatory. There's really no other way of activating these. I think I better save. It'd be a shame to lose my life here now. Ceiling, the trap. Ah, 
fairly simple but it's easy also to miss. I haven't seen this kind of trap anywhere else, so that's one where you, you don't really have experience or uh, how to spot it until you walk right into it. Of how Ahura Mazda, heavy of heart at the sin of his sons, the gods, withdrew himself to the far depths of the universe, and how since then he has not been seen by the Avestus. From where the wise men say he will only return at the end of time. Oh, third rule. to do is get to the queen's too. 